Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. I would like for you to join me in the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, starting at verse 1. Isaiah, chapter 60, starting at verse 1. Hallelujah. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Yehoah is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But Jehovah shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Hallelujah. So my brothers and my sisters, let me tell you this. I want you to grasp this. I want you to understand this. The day will come when Yehovah will make the whole earth know who we are. The day will come, my brothers and my sisters, when Yehovah will shine upon us. He will smile upon us. He will turn his face towards us. And he will cause the whole world to know who we are. And the light of Yehovah, the glory of Yehovah will rest upon us. And the people of the earth will come to us. Because who we are. And the favor of the creator will be upon us. And they will want to bless us. And they will want to be near to us because of our connection to the creator. Now, I need to say this. I'm, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but this needs to be said. The people of the world will come to us and be drawn by the light and the glory of Yehovah that is upon us. It's, it's not because of the New Testament Christ is upon us. It's not because the name of Yahabashai or the name of Yah, um, Yeshua is upon us. It is because Yehoah, the Holy One of Israel, his name is upon us. His light and his glory is upon us. And that will draw the people to, to us. Not because, not because of Yahabashai, but because of Yehoah being with us, his people, and blessing us, his people. And in turn, it will cause the nations of the world to turn to us, turn to the God that is in us, the God that is with us. And then the, um, the promise of Abraham will be when the descendants of Abraham will bless the earth. My brothers and my sisters, this have happened in measures, but this is going to happen in a greater measure when that day comes. So my brothers and my sisters, we turn back to Yehoah which includes returning back to these law statutes and these commandments. Forsake all other gods and embrace Yehovah, the Holy One of Israel. Now, I know many people may disagree with what I'm saying, and they have the right to it. I'm not upset about you disagreeing with me. You have the right to that. But I just wanted to share this. I believe it is true. And like I said, you can bear the differ. That's fine. I just wanted to share this most of all with my people and for those who want to turn to the Holy One of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you too can have your portion. But we must return to him and him alone. and We must live according to these laws, statutes, and these commandments. That's all I want to share at this time. But remember, the day will come when the light of the Creator and his glory will rest heavy upon us. Shalom.